Fuck's sake. Found this. Oh no, the zombies didn't get in. Don't we have a sit? Come on! Tell you, I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on them. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Oh, is he coming on to us? What's the matter? About what happened to Brady? Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean. Feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now. We better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. With this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? No. Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What's the offer? What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. Now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for Anything you, about isn't it? To be safe. You're coming at me with a lot here, Vernon. Need to think it over. Of course, take your time. But I want you to think about some things. You're a good man, Lee. You've been protecting these people as best you can so far. They look up to you, rightly so. But it's different with a child. You might have brought her this far, but sooner or later she might ask you for more than you can give her. I'm sorry if that's hard to hear, but it's the truth. I appreciate it, Vernon. Let me think about it, okay? You do that. I can't leave Clementine. 
shit. Shit. Fuck. What the hell have I got to choose With us. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. I thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. It sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. Take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. Shit. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. I don't want to fucking do. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Damn, honey. What's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Uh, he's been through a lot. He feels guilty. It's a good I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's getting a feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? Yes. Yes. Sure. Look before we leave. Really? You'll take me to Crawford so we can look? I knew you didn't really mean it. Don't leave the water taught you that she'll run away. She's really gone this time, hasn't she? Clementine, Clementine. And the guy in the suit is the guy who has been who's been talking to her. Oh bollocks! I'll run a bit faster, mate. There's a bit of a bloody problem here. Shit. Bollocks. One. Oh, fuck.
No, it's not. She's not dead. Shit. Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Vernon abducted her. Vernon stole her. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew What? What's going on? I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? I don't know what to do here. I don't even know if I can ask for your help. Lee, we're a team. That's how we've made it this far. We're not going to just abandon you. Even now? Especially now. You've earned that much. Damn straight. So that's settled. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. Uh. Lee, man. You know I care about Clementine. I am a Christian man. I keep asking myself, if this was me asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. Kenny, you know what Clementine means to me. She's my family now. She's all I got. Hell, in the end, family's all that matters. And you were there for Katja and Duck when it mattered most, I guess. All right, I'm in. Thank you. What about you, man? Now hold on a damn minute. I'm not going if this little shitbird is too. Lee, you want to bring Clementine back alive, you'll leave him behind. He fucks up everything he touches. Deal with it, Kenny. The way I see it, Ben still has a chance to make things right. If he wants it. How about it, Ben? I don't know. Whatever you think is best. Clementine stood up for you. Clementine's one of the few good things left in this world. She stood up for you and Crawford when Kenny wanted you gone. Don't you think you owe it to her to stand up for her now? You're right. I owe her. I want to do this for Clem. But I want to do it for Kenny, too. I gotta make it right with him. Somehow. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. Oh, shit. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? Shit. Shit. Is he in here? They've all gone, haven't they? They've all gone. Oh shit. Come on, Kenny. Come on. Oh, I knew it. Fuck. They've nicked it. They've stolen it. They've stolen my fucking Clementine. Gone. He seems like a nice guy. Get out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. They seemed like nice people as well. I told you they were fucking bad. Never trust an old guy when he's around children. Now is the time to fornicate? What? What?
Is there no way we could have stopped Lee from getting bitten? What's going on? Is it dinner time? Oh shit. <gasps> are you alright? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Holy... Who the hell's this? <gasps> Vernon, put He's been the guy all along! Shit! Alright, let's look at the choices people made. Um, the boy in the attic, did you kill the boy in the attic? 79 people didn't. Did you lie or threaten Vernon? Th uh, 73. Rational and honest. Did you bring Clementine with you at Crawford? 78 did. Did you let Ben fall? 70 64 pulled him up. Uh, did you reveal your bite group? 75% of players showed the bite. You cheerful motherfuckers. Who came with you? Right, 13% had Omid, Lee, Kenny and Krista. 10% had Ben and Kenny. 6% were on their own, how could the... Ah, see, at the last point where you can choose who came with you, the whole group's going with us. I've been Scipio. This has been The Walking Dead. And I'll see you when episode 5 released. Not for another month! Shit. I really want to know the next story. I'm, I'm going to be fucking anxious about the whole thing forever now.